Hi Foodtube, Kerri Ann here. I'm going to show you one of my favourite go-to fish recipes. It's a roasted sea bream. It's absolutely delicious. It's so simple and easy, it pretty much cooks itself. It's like a superfood. All that omega-3 is good for your heart, your brain and your whole body. It's great for the family and it doesn't cost that much to make. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Now, in this bowl, I've saved you the trouble of having to watch me slice up vegetables because you know that is a bit boring. So I've got here half of a red onion, just finely sliced, nothing fancy, nothing special, just sliced it up. Same, half a red pepper. I've got a, a ripe tomato, a little bit of fresh thyme, half of a scotch bonnet chilli, just sliced up and two fat cloves of garlic just chopped. Now, in this pan, I've got this pan over a medium to high heat, just a small ordinary saucepan. I'm gonna chuck in a little glug of olive oil, about a tablespoon. I'm gonna go straight into the oil with these vegetables. Now, while that's frying, I'm gonna prepare some okra. They're a great vegetable, I absolutely love them. If you don't like them, you can leave them out and use some spinach instead, or some nice greens, it's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm just gonna basically take the tops off and the bottoms, and then I'm gonna cut them roughly into about a centimetre pieces. This is going to be the stuffing for our fish. So I'd say I've got about 250, 300 grams of okra here, or just two nice big handfuls. I'm gonna go back over here and have a look at my veggies. They're frying lovely. Now I'm gonna add the okra to this. In they go. And give that another stir. So I'm just literally gonna add two spoonfuls of water, nothing more, nothing less, just to create a little bit of steam and almost like a little bit of gravy, so a nice pinch of salt and a good grinding of fresh black pepper, don't be shy. And now we just want to leave that just until the okra starts to soften. We don't want to cook it all the way through because it's going to go in the oven as well. Now I'm going to prepare the fish. So as you can see here, I've got two beautiful sea bream. They're whole, head on, tail on, the works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score along the diagonal into the flesh, like that. And then on the other side, the same. As far down as you can get, so I've gone right down to the bone. Come and have a look at here, my friends. This looks like it's about ready. You'll see that it's not completely cooked through, but it is starting to soften nicely. So I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to put really hot stuff in into the, the cold fish. Next step, we're going to start making our package for our fish. So I'm going to get some foil, so just basic tin foil, and I'm going to make kind of like, you want to imagine that you're going to make like a parcel, but you're also kind of putting the fish to bed, and you want to make sure that nothing leaks. So I use two bits of tin foil, and then at the bottom, I'm going to add a sliver of butter and then I'm going to add a little tiny, tiny bit of the vegetables to make almost like a, a bed for the fish to sit on. And then into the cavity, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and also into the holes that we've made. So just a nice and all over as well. And then we want some pepper in the cavity. And then into the cavity of the fish, we want to take a nice spoonful of our veg. Pack it as tight as you can and then close it back up and put him on the foil like that. And the last bit of veg and juice. And then another tiny, tiny sliver of butter on top and fold, fold it over. Not too tightly because again, we do want some steam. And then just scrunch as tight as you can on all the open parts so none of that lovely steam escapes because the steam's gonna go back in 
and help to make that wonderful, wonderful sauce. So there we have it, one fish. Right, so we've got our fish ready. I'm gonna put these into a nice, just a simple baking tray. And in they go. And then I'm gonna put these into a preheated oven, gas mark six, 200 degrees, for about 25 to 30 minutes. Here we go. I think my little fishy friends are ready. So I'm gonna get them out. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. I don't want to rip the tin foil because I want to open it properly for you to see, my friends. Look how beautiful that is. Now, at home, we usually have this with a nice green crispy salad and some crusty bread or some rice and a little bit of salad. But if you want to have it with some new potatoes or some couscous or even on its own, you're more than welcome to. It is a great, great fish. I'm going to give it a taste because I can't wait anymore. Let's get in there. Come and have a look at this, how, how juicy and how moist this fish is. Look at that. Can you see that? Take a bit off. Look at that. Mm. You can taste the spice, you can taste the, the flavours of the vegetables, but most importantly, you can taste the fish and the freshness of that fish. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. If you use any different ingredients for your filling, or if you cook it a different way, whatever you do, I'd love to hear from you. Like it if you want to like it. Subscribe if you want, it is free after all. But most importantly, my friends, enjoy yourselves, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Happy cooking. How's it going? It's going all right. So we're making our very own fish think My wife would love this. Would you? Well, because she does buy the ones from the supermarket, but she likes to make her own. And they're a bit bigger and juicier. And fish fingers are the best, mate. I think they're my favorite kind of fish, mm. to be honest.